and, 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 and take a quick pause here to give a quick teaching moment here because I read the scripture, praise God, Romans chapter 4, verse, 30, uh, verse 17, praise God, where it talks about that he, that he calls those things that be not as though they were. Glory to God. Let me just give you a quick teaching moment about prophecy, praise God. Prophecy is not just futuristic. Prophecy is what brings the future and the past together. Let me explain what I'm saying here. Amen. Many say that prophecy is foretelling, right? Amen. Telling about the future, praise God. Amen. But Jesus said, and Paul said in Romans chapter 4, he said, they call those things which be not as though they were. Mm. He said, in other words, this particular thing, amen, it is in its present state, glory to God, amen, uh, uh, it is in its present day dead, amen, but I'm not going to call it what it is in its present state, I'm going to call it what it was, uh-huh, no, 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 I've heard many people, amen, try to translate this scripture as if it just say that, uh, uh, speak those things which are not as though they are, no, 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 then you're speaking dead things to be dead things if wow. you say, come on, so if you say to speak those things which are not as though they are, but God says speak those things which are not as though they were. Now, why did God go to the past if I'm supposed to be prophesying? Mm. He said, speak those things that are not as though they were. In other words, what we've got to have a revelation of is we've got to have a revelation of God's original plan for salvation. Come on, somebody. We've got to have a revelation of God's original plan in Genesis chapter number one when God created everything, including you and I. Amen. And God said that it was good back then. And that's not what God is coming for. God is not coming for something new. God is not coming for for a new creation that man has put together. God's not coming, glory to God, amen, uh, for our idea of who we are. Come on, somebody. But God is coming, amen, for his original plan that he started in Genesis chapter number one. Yes. Come on, somebody. And now you've got to understand, amen, that when he says speak those things as though, uh, speak those things that are not as though they were, God is saying that I want those, I want you, amen, to go back to the person that I originally intended for you to be. I want that particular dead thing, glory to God, amen, that's dead now, to go back to being alive like I original intended it for it to be. Yes. I need you to understand, glory to God, amen, that you are not who you are right now, glory to God. But there is an original you that you have not met yet. Come on, somebody. There is an original person on the inside of you, glory to God, that God created before the foundation of the world, glory to God, that the world has tainted, that time has messed you up, glory to God. Hallelujah. Our parents and, and, and grandparents have, have messed us up, glory to God. But God says, I'm coming, glory to God, to take you back, amen, to the original you that I created before the foundation of the world. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we talk about prophecy, he says speak those things which are not as though they were. God is speaking about the original you, praise God, that he created, glory to God, before hallelujah, drugs got you, praise God. The original you, came that he created, glory to God, before you got with that man that messed up your self-esteem. The original you, glory to God, amen, hallelujah, that, 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 that God had created, amen, before people told you that you couldn't do nothing, hallelujah. The original you, glory to God, that walked in love and joy and peace and hallelujah. The original you, glory to God, that was full of creativity and love and, uh, and joy and peace. There is an original you that you have not met yet. Wow. Yes, sir. It's an original you. And many times we're trying to prophesy forth telling. Hallelujah. Amen. And something that God, and God did not authorize. Mm -hmm. Ah, glory to God. 
Hallelujah. God didn't authorize your idea of you. Come on, somebody. He didn't authorize, amen, your plans. Come on, somebody. He didn't authorize, praise God, amen, your idea of what your life ought to be. God predestined all of us to be conformed to his son, praise God. And God is not accepting, come on, somebody, a remix of what he started. Well. He's <laughs> not accepting a remix. And so when you understand, amen, that prophecy, amen, it brings, amen, amen, uh, the past and the present together, amen, glory to God. We understand that when, 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 when Ezekiel is asked here, can these bones live, Ezekiel understood something about the Holy Ghost that many of us have, have, have either ignored or we just forgot, praise God. The Holy Ghost is a life Giver, praise God. Hallelujah. When you look at this, he says now in verse number four, and he again he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. I just want to take a pause here because in order for, amen, Ezekiel to, 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 to prophesy like this, he had to have had a vision of what these bones used to have. Mm. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. You can't, amen, you can't prophesy to something dead, amen, and believe for that dead thing to resurrect, praise God, unless you know what that dead thing used to be. No, no, no. See, 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 this is why we've got to, this is why we've got to have, amen, a revelation of who God said that we are. Y'all notice I said it in the past tense, praise God. We've got to have a revelation of who God said I am. Come on. Not who I presently am because I'm continually being conformed into the image of his son. I'm continually, praise God, going back to who he said he would be. That's why we have all these words that start with re. Regeneration. Come on, somebody. Restoration. Come on, yeah. somebody. All these words that, that start with R-E, which means I'm going back. Amen. Repent, praise God. I'm going back to my original state, glory to God, before I messed up, before I sinned, yeah. before they told me I couldn't. Come on, somebody. Before, amen, my life got messed up, before this person, amen, hurt me. I'm going back to who God said I am. Woo. Woo. Resurrect, that word also starts with an R E. Come on, somebody. Yes, and when we when we understand, amen, prophecy, we understand, amen, that God will not take a remix, glory to God, of what he started. Many of us, glory to God, amen, because of our own self-image of ourselves, glory to God, we have asked God to take a remix. Come on, somebody. We've asked God, 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 just take me as I am. Come on, somebody. I, uh, people used to say all the time, amen, come as you are. And that myth has gone throughout the generations. But that, that, that phrase is nowhere in the Bible, praise God. Amen. It's not come as you are, man. And you might come as you are, amen, but you're not intended to stay as you come are. On. You are intended to get and be conformed to the image of his son like he created you in Genesis chapter number one. Woo. So we've got to have a revelation of who God said that we are. And you've got to keep that at the forefront, praise God. And say, listen, I may not be, amen, amen, where I want to be. I may not be, amen, amen, where God has said for me to be. But I'm continually moving, amen, back to that place that God has called me to. And so if you're going to prophesy, praise God, you've got to know, amen, you've got to have a revelation of what that particular thing used to be. No, no. And we got too many prophets now prophesying, praise God. Amen. According to who they, according to who they want you to be. No, no, no. God, listen. God is done with all of his work. God's not creating new things, praise God. Amen. God has already, the Bible says, that Christ has given us all things that pertain 
mind to life and godliness. And when you pray asking God to give you something outside of his predetermined will, you're asking God to create again, praise God. Wow. And God is not in the business of creating again, praise God. God is in the business, praise God, of, 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 of leading you through the Holy Ghost to what God has already prepared for you. When we, when, when we pray for things outside of God's will, you're asking God to rewrite your whole destiny. My goodness. Y'all, I need to say that again. But see, when, when you pray for things outside of the will of God, you're asking God to rewrite your whole destiny. That's not the will of God for our lives. Praise God. It's God's will. Praise God. Amen. Amen. That we be restored back to his original intent for our lives. And if you're going to prophesy to dead things, if you're going to be a resurrector, praise God, hallelujah, then you've got to have a revelation of who somebody or who that dead thing or what that dead thing was. And so he says, amen, in verse 5, he says, thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall Live. This is so prophetic, I'm telling y'all, if you don't understand this, it's hard for you to even understand prophecy if you don't understand this. Because when God created Adam, and when God created uh, mankind, he created them in the spirit first. Uh huh. And the Bible says, amen, that he breathed once he had, in Genesis chapter 2, once he had formed them, amen, uh, uh, in, in, in his image, in, in their physical body, the Bible says that he breathed into them the breath of life. Come on, somebody. And what do we know about breath? Breath is 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 significant, amen, to spirit. Come on, somebody. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word was God. Come on, somebody. And in the spirit is the word. Come on, somebody. So when you speak the word, amen, you are breathing life into yeah. somebody. Come on, somebody. Yeah. The letter killeth, but the but the spirit in what? It gives life. Hallelujah. When you, the Bible says that the power of life and death, it is in our what? Time. It's in our tongue, praise God. And when you begin to prophesy, amen, life to your dead situation, it's just a matter of time, baby. That thing is going to resurrect someday, somehow. And you got to believe that because I have been given life by the Holy Ghost, I've also been authorized by the Holy Ghost to give life to somebody else. Yeah. Oh my God. Come on, come on. Come on. You got to understand that, glory to God, that the Holy Ghost gave you life, and he also authorized you to give life to somebody else. That's right. That's the response. Oh, my God. That's why we speak life, glory to God, and not death. That's why we prophesy, glory to God, because the Holy Ghost is a life giver. My God, I feel the presence of God in this place. But you've got to have a revelation uh, uh, of the beginning, folks, before you begin to prophesy. Otherwise, you're asking God to create something that he never authorized. Uh, so in verse 6, he says, he says, and I will lay and make sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord. I think about this now. Think about a person, praise God, amen, trying to put something back together and they don't have a clue of what it used to be before they saw the materials in place. Come on, somebody. Come on. Uh, think about now. Think, think, think about, amen, uh, a train set. Or, or think about how uh, you see this You see this keyboard and you see the keys are, are orderly going across there, praise God. And you got the outlet. Think about somebody, amen, trying to put, amen, this keyboard back together. All of, uh, uh, of the, the, the parts to this thing are just scattered along the ground. If they don't have an idea of what this, what this keyboard used to be and how it looked and how it used to operate, come on somebody, they will fail at putting it back together. Yes. 
<laughs> Ezekiel, Ezekiel got a vision of who these, of what these dry bones used to be. You can't prophesy to something and you don't have a vision of his past, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I, I, you, you can't prophesy to something and you don't have a vision, amen, of who, amen, uh, they used to be, glory to God, amen. And this is why, amen, the best person to prophesy to you is you. <laughs> wow. The best person to prophesy to you it's you, glory to God. You know what is broken in your life. Come on. You know what has been, has been God, messed God. up in your life. You know the end from the beginning. You know who messed up your self-esteem. You know what triggered you, amen, to start taking drugs and all these other things. You know, amen, when you stop being able to love amen, other people. The best person to prophesy to you is you. Wow. 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 Because you have a revelation. You know about your past. Glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. And the great thing about, them, about this is that God has authorized you to give life to your dead situation. My God. I, I can look at you right now, amen, and see you all cleaned up and you look good, praise God. Amen, amen. But I don't know, unless the Holy Ghost reveals it to me, I don't know what dead on the inside of you. Amen. I don't know, glory to God. Amen. Uh, what, amen, has been broken and has been damaged on the inside of you in the spirit realm. Only you know that. And only way I know that is if either the Lord reveals it or you tell it to me, praise God. But I know a God, hallelujah, that is a life giver, glory to God. Amen. That does not leave dead things dead. Come on, somebody. Come on. He does not leave dead things dead, but he is a God, hallelujah, that looks high and hallelujah, that sits high and looks low and will speak dead things to life in yes. Jesus' name. Woo. And I just came this morning to prophesy, glory to God, to the dry bones in this building, glory yes, to God. I've come to prophesy and to tell you that you shall live yes, and not die, glory to God. I Come to prophesy and tell you, glory to God, that if you've not been able to love nobody for a long time, that you shall love again, glory to God. You shall create again, glory to God. How you shall have peace again, glory to God. The joy of the Lord, it is your strength, glory to God. I declare unto you that you'll not walk in fear. You'll not walk in anxiety. You'll not walk, glory to God. Amen. Contrary to the word of the Lord. But the Holy Ghost is a life giver, praise God. And I speak life toward God to every dead situation in your life. Oh, God. What? Hallelujah. 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 You got to know, hallelujah, that the Holy Ghost has authorized you. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's authorized you yeah. to be a resurrector. And that's why we, he talks about it in, in Hebrews. He says, we need to, you need to understand, amen, the doctrine, amen, of the resurrection of the dead. It's a doctrine because you need to understand that's a part of the ministry is the resurrection hey. of the dead. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Wow. It's a part of Christ's ministry that has been handed down to us. Glory to God. We are... <laughs> Ah, we are authorized, glory to yeah. God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Authorized life givers. Uh, and yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Through the Holy Ghost yes, that has given us life. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't care what's dead in your See, here's the good thing about the Holy Ghost is that there can be dead things in your life. But because you have the life giver, amen, the things that are still alive, my God, can use the Holy Ghost to speak to the things that are dead, my God. Mm. And as long as you've got breath in your body, you have spirit to which the Holy Ghost can use, amen, to raise those dead things back to life. That's right. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you got to be willing to do it. Mm. 
Uh, and, and she didn't get understand here, understand this principle. Jesus or, or God, he could have did it himself. God could have, God could have spoke to the dry bones himself. But when you understand the system that God has set up, praise God, amen, that everything that God does in the earth, he has to use hey. a man to do it. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody. He's got to use, amen, a human being, a human right. being to do it. We are the authorized life givers in the earth, praise God. And, 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 and supremely, praise God, you are the author. You are the supreme authorized life giver in your life, praise God. If you want life, all you have to do is to begin to speak it, praise God. I, I listen, I understand, praise God, amen, that life, amen, uh, we have an enemy that keeps coming, trying to steal, kill, and destroy, praise God, but he can't destroy what you keep giving life. Oh, y'all didn't hear that one. Uh, he can't steal what you keep putting back in the refrigerator. He can't kill, come on, what you keep resuscitating. Come on, come on. He can't restore, Lord. He can't destroy, amen, what you keep giving life to. My God. Yeah. Ah. He can't do it. Greater. He can't do it. Huh? Glory to God. God is the greatest physician in the world. Hallelujah. You can, you can, you, you can try to kill me as you can try to kill me daily. But I got the I got the antidote. Come on, somebody. I got the antidote to get to, to resuscitate me every time. Because I got the life giver on the inside of me. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> you ever seen them movies, praise God? They got just the thing, praise God. Amen. They, they uh, shoot you with this needle, they wake right on up. Come on, somebody. This is what we need to do with the Holy Ghost. Come on. We're not using it properly, the Holy Ghost. Some of y'all need to dust the Holy Ghost off and let That's it work. Right. Come on. <laughs> He's a life giver. He's a life giver. Ooh. Hallelujah. I just want to prophesy to you, glory to God, that in 2019, glory to God, there's going to be a resurrection of you like never before. Glory mm. to God. People My are going God. to come and say to you, they're, they're, they're going to come and say to you, glory to God, hey amen, I don't even, I don't know you like this. And, you, and your response is going to be, I cut, I cut the, 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 the original me has returned. Come on, somebody. The original me has been resuscitated. Come on, somebody. That the Holy Ghost has given life to some dead things. Amen. That, that, that Satan thought he could destroy. Amen. But I got the antidote. Yes. The Holy Ghost that gives life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. By the end of this year, glory to God. Amen. They're going to they be saying, well, I guess I'm going to have to learn you all over again. Come on, right. somebody. Hallelujah. Right. The Holy Ghost, amen, done, done, done some things in me. He stirred up some things in me that were dead. Come on, somebody. Amen. And now I'm walking in the newness of life. Glory to God. See, everything that everything that's new doesn't mean it was recreated. Doesn't mean that it was created. Come on, somebody. God can take something old and make it new. Uh -huh. yes. you know what I'm he can take something old and make it new. Amen. Just like he did in, in Isaiah. He said, I'll put rivers in your desert. Come on, somebody. Amen. I'll put I'll, I'll make a way in the wilderness. Come on, somebody. Where there is no way. The Holy Ghost is a river in your desert, and he is a way yes. in the wilderness. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody shout, I'm a resurrected. I'm a resurrected. Hallelujah. Stop waiting on God to resurrect you. Come on, somebody. You need to learn how to resurrect yourself. Uh, come on, you need to learn how to take those dead things in your life and resurrect them yourself. Come on. Sit up here waiting on God to resurrect things come on. in our lives. Be the manifestation. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I'm an authorized mm. dealer of resurrection power. <laughs> my God, my God. If you got dead things in your life you, and, and you want to stay dead, you may not want to come around me, praise God. Because I'm going to come right after those dead things, praise God, and go after them and put the Holy Ghost to work. Amen. To see those dead things come to life, praise God. Remember this now. I didn't get to go through this, uh, go all the way through this, praise God. 
But as you, as you begin to think about this, think about the things that, that life has taken from you. Think about, amen, who you once were. I once was a happy-go-lucky person, and now I'm mean and evil. No, that's not the original you. Some of us actually really need to go back to who we were as a child. That children are the most purest form of who you are. That's why Jesus said, "Come to me like a, come to me like a child." As a child, children are the most purest form of the original you that God created. Life over time begins to, you know, bruise us and begins to to take things and begins to change things. Praise God. And God said, I want to, I want to resurrect some things in you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You've been dead long enough. And I've got purpose for everything Thank that you. I put in you. Come on, somebody. I've got purpose for everything, glory to God, that I've given you ability to do. I've got purpose for everything, glory to God, that you have gone through in your life. Mm -hmm. God said, I want to resurrect some things. In you this morning. But take time to think about it and ask God, God, how have I changed for the worse? What are those dead things in my life that need to be resurrected? And then give the Holy Spirit permission, hallelujah, to begin to work on those things. And when the Holy Ghost shows you, prophesy to that thing. Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Prophesy that thing. You don't understand that prophecy is the best life giver that you can give to anyone. Hallelujah. Thank God. I had this other uh, 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 this, this other point I wanted to make, but I'm just going to leave it right here. If you want to study some more, I'll come back. To, I might come back to this next next weekend and connect this with, 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 with Lazarus. Praise God. Because some of y'all, y'all need to roll the stone away so God can Jesus. get to it. Wow. Uh -huh. some, some, some things, amen, you, some of these things, praise God, amen, you have pronounced dead and you have buried them yourself. Uh -huh. And now the Holy Ghost can't get to it, praise God, because you got a stone in front of it protecting it from God. But the Lord says this morning that you need to roll the stone away so I can get to him. Mm. Uh, roll, hallelujah, the, roll the stone away so I can get to the original you that's down there on the inside. Amen. Roll, uh, uh, bring down those walls that you use to protect yourself. Glory to God. Don't protect yourself from me. Protect yourself from the enemy, praise God. But let me in so I can deal with those things. Mm. Ah, maybe we'll deal with that on next week, praise God. Hallelujah. But there is a ministry of the resurrection of the dead. Glory to God. And we need to become familiar with the Holy Spirit's job of resurrecting dead things. Can we say amen to that? Amen. Clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. I want to pray for you this morning. If you've got some things that are dead 